So we've got a case for you guys today um, that we're going to use to try and highlight the concept of, again, you've seen this, this topic come up, but radiographs are essential. They're great. They're fantastic. Uh, nobody's going to argue that, myself included. I take them nearly every day. However, radiographs in most veterinary practices when it comes to dentistry are overused or not used in the right way at the right time. Uh, radiographs are just one tool. And honestly, CT scans are also the same way. They're just one tool. What's really, really critical is if we're doctors is we have to take in together all of the information, all of the patient's information, how long the problem's been going on, what's the age of the patient, what's the presentation, what are all the oral exam findings, what's the endoscopic findings, what are our imaging findings, and then we have a complete picture. A lot of times people just rely on, and it comes from a lack of knowledge, to just think that radiographs alone or CT alone is just going to all of a sudden give a magical answer without having a good fundamental uh, understanding of equine hypsodont anatomy. And again, I keep coming back with the pressure at the universities. You guys need to up your game a little bit and teach advanced hypsodont anatomy. And that, that takes time and, and it's impossible to understand the pathology process uh, without understanding the underlying anatomy. Uh, so we're gonna show you guys a case here that radiographically, this horse did not look that bad. The horse owner had significant complaints that she had tried to get answers uh, from with the horse doing funny things while it was eating, uh, tilting its head, uh, and then with some issues in the, in the bridle, but nothing was ever really um, truly found because a lot of, again, relying on imaging can lead us astray sometimes despite our best intentions as clinicians. So we'll show you guys the radiographs, which really don't look that bad. And then we'll come back and show you the tooth, uh, which is very severe. Um, and so just because you have severe dental disease doesn't always mean that you'll have severe radiographic findings. The opposite can be true where you can have radiographic abnormalities that are actually not clinically relevant, especially in older horses that are undergoing a lot of changes at the apex. The radiographs on those guys can look not that great and that's kind of normal. And so we have the two extremes. And again, that's the importance of being a clinician and of discerning these different um, issues. So let's go to the x-ray and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so here we've got some radiographs and you know, nothing jumps out as being really terrible. Now you could argue definitely that there's some mild abnormalities here and there, included potentially this region right here. Uh, but it's not what I would call absolutely uh, terrible evidence of periapical disease based on the radiograph. Let's look at another view here. Same thing. We, we don't really see anything that just jumps out as being absolutely terrible radiographically. Now, for the radiologists amongst you, maybe you can pick out some things, but again, for me personally, nothing is really terrible there. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys, we actually ended up extracting a, a tooth on this horse. And when you look at the tooth, I would say that it shows severe signs of having endodontic disease. Orally with the endoscope, like I said, we had five open pulps. Radiographically, maybe a little inconclusive, but now let's zoom in here and take a look and see how bad this is. Okay, so these are the pulps here. What we did is we extracted this tooth and I just cut the roots off. Okay, so that's what you're seeing. All of this right here, this is all basically manure. This is just a combination of, of feed and bacteria and fermented bacteria that's going all the way up to the tooth root. But the tooth roots didn't look really, again, that terrible radiographically but we definitely have really nasty, uh, very stinky tooth here that, um, that was causing the horse some issues. So this is, it's just a, one of many, many examples to show again how important it is to tie all the pieces together. And that's what makes dentistry fun.